What is going on guys, it's Reflex here, and today's a little bit more news about Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now, if you're already hyped for it and, you know, it's coming out this Friday, well, you're going to get a little bit more hype for it, because for all the people that's going to be getting it, expect some DLC, because pretty much the DLC is already confirmed and it's going to be Stormy Ascent. Now, whether or not they bring more DLC in the future, that's really just for us to find out, but for now... We've been talking about the Lost Treasures DLC for pretty much the past week now and well now we kind of come to realize that the DLC is going to be a day one patch and pretty much going to be free for every single person that basically got the game so that's going to be pretty cool so expect I don't know exactly when it's going to drop for the um, update but I'm pretty sure like as soon as it strikes midnight and you're able to download the game it's probably going to come with a patch that will actually patch in Stormy Ascent now. What I want to know is actually where are they going to implement Stormy Ascent at? Is it going to take over Slippery Climb? Is it going to be, you know, in place of the Great Hall? Oh, I don't know. I like leave down in the comment section below where you guys think Stormy Ascent will take place at because I honestly don't know a spot where they can actually put Stormy Ascent. Like I can't exactly think of it very well, but I'm just excited because I didn't like I wanted it to be free DLC. But I didn't think it was going to be a day one, like, oh yeah, you're getting this. You're getting this DLC as soon as the game comes out. Like, I think that's pretty cool. That caters to the fans a lot, and that also caters to all the people that wanted the game and wanted the DLC to be free. And I was one of those people, but the fact that we're going to be getting it for free now is pretty awesome. And the fact that we're going to be getting it the day that it comes out, like, as soon as it hits Friday, that's when we're getting it. And that's pretty cool, so... Expect Stormy Ascent. Now, also, expect this Friday for me to do, at least, I would say, you know, I don't know when exactly I'm going to upload it, but leave down in the comment section if you guys want me to upload, like, one level a day, or do you want me to upload multiple times a day? Because what I'm planning on doing is, you know, like I said a couple days ago, that I'm going to be playing every single level and uploading each level individually as a single upload without any commentary basically showing a hundred percent playthrough of how you can get every gem how you get every crystal every key every relic and you know then after i complete the whole entire game i'll start speed running it and all that but yeah just let me know how you guys want me to do the uploading whether you want me to upload three levels a day one level a day it's just entirely up to you guys because i'm game for anything the moment it comes out midnight is the day that i'm gonna be at least recording as much as possible and I believe I can let's see if I spend until 12 to 4 that time and then go to sleep and then wake up I got a little bit of things to do but I think 12 to 4 I should be able to get a lot of levels done because my speed run that I did back in the day on crash 1 was an hour and 25 minutes so if I record each level and actually, you know, go slow, take my time, and do everything, it, it might take that four hours, but I might be able to beat it in that little bit of time, so who knows. But I'll try to upload as much as possible for you guys, and then hopefully it's easy to do the Stormy Ascent. I'm not entirely sure what they have in mind, because if they have a, if the two achievements are gems and relics, then I wonder, um, is it going to be like... What's it going to be counted towards? Because in Warped, when you had Relics, it unlocked brand new levels. But what are they going to do with um, Crash 1? Because you can have all these Relics and everything, but what's it going to unlock? Like, that's what I'm kind of confused about. But I guess the time will show when we actually get the game. But yeah, just expect a whole bunch of uploads. And I'll keep up with the Crash news. And after it comes out, then... There will probably be no news until stuff's actually announced. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys know the drill. I will see you guys later.